Hey guys, Mike Robertson here, Robertson Construction, and uh, thanks for tuning in to watch my video. This one is going to be on trimming out the outside of a window with either, <coughs> excuse me, 2x4 trim and uh, redwood uh, siding. Uh, I'm going to show it two, a couple different ways. Uh, basically, one way is where you take this siding and you push it all the way up against the window. <clears throat> like this. Now, what's nice about this window is it's it's so far in because this siding is only a, a little over uh, half inch, like five eighths. You don't even need any trim. It actually looks very clean. Uh, however, another way you can is if this is actually a piece of uh, the piece of siding that's going on. It's a two by four. You can use a two by four. However, it's a little thick over here, and again, I can show you on that side, but uh, probably use a one by four if you're going to go over the top. It does leave that gap on this side because it has this little bevel that comes out. It goes down the side, maybe bees or something inside there. <clears throat> but uh, the, the other way of doing it would be to trim this out first and then put these up against a two by Excuse me, put it up like this, out here, and then slide it together like that. Now, I, as I like this look, it looks very tight. Uh, you do have the wood butting against wood where water can get to if it's not sealed right, and it could actually cause it to rot over time. It is a clean look. You can use the 2x4. It is a lot thicker than the 1x4. It may not bow, whereas the 1x4 is going on the outside. But uh, this is probably, to me, a better application this way than the opposite. However, what I'm going to do for this uh, demonstration is I am going to <clears throat> go ahead and install these. And I'm going to put then the 2x4 over. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'll show two different ways of installing uh, the trim and the 2x4s around this window. One thing I've done is I have installed a piece of metal over the top of the top cap, and that is to keep the water from going behind it. And what I would do is lift up the flashing, the house wrap, put this on here, and then I will end up cutting <clears throat> here. Cutting it over here and then cutting across the top. Now it's again still over to the top here. And won't allow any water to go behind it. Okay? So and again, for this demonstration, I'm just going to go ahead and use screws and screw these on. Normally, I would use my nail gun, and I'd use uh, <clears throat> galvanized nails or rust-resistant screws. But for this demonstration, we'll go ahead and just get this done. Now, you can see that this tips screws here in the flange keep it a little higher than the outside so typically you can use a shim again smaller on the inside and don't go onto the flange and then go ahead and set your board in <clears throat> Cut boards. These are pre cut prior to this, so again, all windows are different. I'm not going to show you how I cut the boards. I think you can figure that out for yourself. If not, leave me a comment and we'll go over that later. The point is, a lot of times I'll run a screw, especially on the 2x4s, from the bottom into here and from here down into here. That'll hold this together. 
You can also do the same here with a GRK with a real fine end on, not a big flat head, but a tiny end, and run it up through here and it'll also hold that. Now with the siding, what I'm gonna do is show you this way along the outside of it where it actually touches, like this. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're going to set this up so that the one on top just sits flush. So we'll set this first, bring it just off, bring it in. And again, this is just to show you what this look is now. Normally you take this stuff from the bottom up, but I wanted to show you how the headpiece is gonna work. I'm using one and a half inch nails for this demonstration. We cross with the top piece. Okay, that's one way to do it. There's a, with this, having this groove on it is a little bit of work to caulk it, but it can be done. It's a very nice look. The only other way I was going to suggest is that you could take these and you could run them all the way through before putting this on uh, the 2 by and running it to the window itself and then mounting a 1 by 4 not a 2 by 4 over the side. But either way, it looks great. Uh, I actually prefer, me, I actually prefer this look with a 2 by 4 having thicker wood than the 1 by 4 the other important thing is you want to make sure that when you put the headpiece on, it runs over, and when you put the leg on, it runs past. So if water does get in here, it runs down, comes here, and runs through this, uh, through the crack between the two, between the leg and the bottom piece, and is able to run out. Okay, so that's basically how you trim out the outside. Any other type of siding would be the same way. And the same thing with trimming out with any of wood. Uh, later on, I'll show you a video on how to trim this out, the window in the 2x4, prepping for a stucco exterior and not a wood siding exterior. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. Uh, I appreciate you watching the video. And uh, please subscribe, and I look forward to uh, hearing from you guys' comments. Take care.